Hey viewers, this is your youth librarian, Anna Marie from the Westerville Public Library, excited to create that story time at home experience for all of you. Keep watching for an idea on how to make a baby play activity, similar to those we use in our playtime after our standard baby story time that you can create from around the house objects that hopefully will keep your little one engaged for a little while. All materials and information will also be in the description below. DIY play activity involves making your own puzzles. So little ones love puzzles. They are great for fine motor skills in those fingers. They're great for leading to conversations about what all of those different puzzle pieces are. They help with math skills eventually. There are many benefits to puzzles. You might have some puzzles at home. You might not. That's totally okay. You might have puzzles at home and you might be bored of them already. So this is just another great way to create something using around the house objects. I have a piece of paper, a Sharpie, though really any pen would work, and I have a collection of baby safe items. So a lot of these are blocks, and that can be a great way to create these if you have blocks that are different shapes. But I also have a spoon and a roll of tape. And all I am doing is I'm taking those items one at a time laying them somewhere on my piece of paper and tracing them. For items like a roll of tape, you could trace the inside too, especially if you've got a lot of items that are circular, it's a popular shape, that's a possibility. Got that block, I'm gonna give that a very distinct shape. All right, my spoon is gonna be a very clear shape. And some objects might be a little harder to trace. That's okay, do your best. This is gonna be not quite the same as like a wooden puzzle where it has to fit exactly in that slot. So if something's a little off, that's okay. All right, I have a star giant bead and I have a triangle block. So I have traced all of my shapes and it has created a sheet with all of those outlines on it. Now all you have to do is give that sheet, take back that Sharpie or pen, and your collection of items to your little one and encourage them to try to put together the puzzle so they can figure out where that spoon goes, where that tape goes, and all the rest of those objects. It's just a different way to explore household objects and to create that puzzle experience, whether you do or don't already have puzzles at home. So this was DIY puzzles. And other than around the house objects that are safe for babies, it really just requires a piece of paper and a pen.